when you're backpacking, you want your gear to have more than one use, ideally. Even better if that item is ultralight and free. Hi folks, it's Switchback. I order an embarrassingly large amount from Amazon. Yes, I know. All the stuff with the company, There's that's a whole other topic. But as a result of my orders, I have a bunch of these mailer pouches. Any bubble mailer pouch that is made entirely of plastic will do the job. These ones just happen to be from Amazon. They get cut down to a variety of sizes just based on what size the item is that you're getting sent. So I like, I like to save the ones that are big enough to accommodate a meal. You can make something similar to this out of Reflectix, and I have done that, but it's also heavier and bulkier. And for most of my trips, this is just plenty for me. But this is probably the most versatile thing I carry with me out on the trail. So that's why I wanted to make this video to share with you a bunch of different ways to use it. The first one is as a food cozy. This is the first way that I used it. And I carry a binder clip to keep it closed when it's rehydrating and I just leaned it on something. It works great. This has been sufficient for everything except for my winter camping trip where it was like in the teens. That was definitely too cold for this. But even, you know, fall camping, um, winter camping in California when it's in the 40s, even the 30s, this has been enough to keep my food rehydrated um, and insulated well enough to keep it hot while it's doing so. I even can't take these on regular camping and road trips anymore for when we do rehydrate meals when we're out on the road. Number two is for an insulator while you're eating out of said food. So these pouches can get hot to hold in your hand by itself. So what I will do is fold it over like this in half, leave it in there like this, have it open, and then it's just a nice easy thing to eat out of without burning my hand. Number three, you can keep electronics or your water filter, not both at the same time, in here to keep them from freezing. So this could be a good place to put them while you're, before you put them in your sleeping bag or your quilt at night, or even for what, you can bury that inside of your pocket in uh, your coat, because you do want to keep anything that should not freeze, that could be at risk for freezing on you to keep it from freezing. So I should say freezing a few more times. Number four, it makes a nice easy seat cushion. You can put this on a rock, on the snow, on dirt, on a log, whatever. And you don't have to worry about it getting damaged if it gets punctured, no big deal. Number five, I use it as a knee cushion. Like while I'm doing something around camp or I'm building a fire, it works really well for that. Number six, it's a place for me to stand while I'm changing outside of my tent when it's a little hard to balance on a shoe or try to take a shoe off and on every time I'm putting my pant leg through or, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Number seven, it's a clean and dry place to put things while I'm unpacking or I'm packing up my pack and I want to have some of the smaller things that don't want to get lost out and this is a perfect place i can just set them on here it works great number eight it's a good windscreen for your stove and of course don't let it get too close to your flame it will melt and this does require that you sit there and kind of move it as it needs to be and it doesn't just stand up on its own but you really shouldn't be leaving your fire unattended anyway or your stove unattended but it is nice because you can kind of move it with the wind as sometimes the wind likes to shift around, of course. Number nine, you can use it to keep things from rattling or rubbing inside of your pack. So for example, I've had like my pot rubbing up against my bear canister and it's squeaking or it's, you know, just making like a weird grinding noise. You can stick this in between the two, works great. Or you can put that item inside of here so that it's, you know, or you can put this like inside of your pot and then something inside of it so it doesn't get scratched. Works very nicely. Number 10, you can even use this as a ditty bag. So I wouldn't use these exclusively as ditty bags, but I would definitely use them if I'm already taking it out on the trail and you have a bunch of little things you don't want to get lost. Lots of room inside of there. Put them in there. You could fold it over, use that binder clip roll it up, whatever works for you, stick it inside of your pack. I'd love to hear any other uses you have for something like this or other gear that you have used that you've gotten for free that you've turned into backpacking gear. And I have a whole other video that's just about ways to save money on gear, on trips and more. I'm gonna put that right here. I hope you got some value. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.